Police officers are meant to uphold the law and protect the public, but this is what happens when officers try to abuse their power. No, I, I'm, I just want to apologize to everyone and say, man, I one of these things, dude. And I'm, I'm sorry. The man you just saw apologizing was Officer Chapman, and on March 14th, his fellow officers conducted a traffic stop on a man with an outstanding federal warrant. While patrolling, Officer Chapman decided to assist with the stop. However, he turned this routine traffic stop into what might be the last one of his career. Hey, man, come step out here real quick. I'm going to show you something. Yes, ma'am. You are under arrest at this time. You have a warrant out for your arrest. I'm going to show it to you in a moment, okay? Is this your car? My girlfriend's car. Can he drive it, the guy that's in the passenger seat? Go ahead, twist your seat up here. What am I on the arrest for? I'm going to show it to you. Come back here for a second. I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to show you the LIDAR too where I clocked you at 68. That's not really the biggest concern here. After making an arrest, it's standard procedure to conduct a pat-down search for any weapons. However, after discovering a considerably large amount of cash, Officer Chapman's attention was immediately caught. Okay. Um, but I'm going to show you the warrant once I get you secure, okay? Is there anything you want to bring with you down there to Mecklenburg County Jail? I'm, I'm saying, can, can I understand, uh, what am I being detained for? Yeah, it's a, it's a warrant. I'm going to show you the actual warrant in just a moment when I try to catch it down. Is there anything on you need to know about? Okay. Do you, you want to bring my, these items with you or leave them in the car? Yeah, you can give me, uh, you can put them in my pocket. Okay. All right, can I get my, uh, can you get my phone? Yes, I'm going to Say, what is my what is my money on the uh three off that side What? Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's what is that? That's not mine. I don't see that. I've never seen one in my life. What are you doing with my property today? I'm gonna hold the window down and tell you what you're in here for. Just let you know the uh owner of the car is coming. Okay. She's probably gonna have problems. Have well, we, we can go ahead and get out of here. Um, I'm going to put this in there. I just want to transform his office real quick. Yeah. Um, I don't know if CRU is going to want to talk to him at all about anything. Okay. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. The assisting officer places all evidence, including the cash, in Officer Chapman's vehicle. He then transfers the suspect to the station. Meanwhile, Officer Chapman makes the mistake of turning off his body camera and pocketing $900, which he would soon come to regret. Alright, I'm gonna count your money in front of you, okay? Here's here's big money. We'll put this in the in the bag for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here. Here you go. I got you. Yeah, she's yeah. counting right now. You're gonna watch me, okay? I heard the early day get shot. Hold up. Just about one, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. I'm not trying to um, Question you and Let me count it first. No, can you, can you look in between his legs real quick? I think he just put some more money in between his legs. How much money did you have on you? Can you I'm, I'm asking. I, I, I'm I asking haven't you. touched it. Can you just check in between his Sir, legs? Sir, listen to me. He's moving and everything. Look, he's moving. Sir, I'm good. Sir, listen to me. Tell me how much cash you had on you. What was the amount? I just want to see. I, I'm not going to lie. Can you, can you check? I'm not going nowhere. Can you check your fellow officer for me, please? Yeah. Uh, we're good. Uh, hell no. He just touched my... I, I, I heard the rubber band pop. He told me, oh, I, I had to... Look, and he's no. moving. He's moving between his legs. Sir, stand right here. I'm going to stand right here, but can y'all please check your fellow officer? Please. What's going on? I, look, he's moving his arm much, right now. How much cash did you have on you? Can you check your... I didn't. Can you check your people? Cause he's touching. Yeah. What's going on? Oh my God! He, look at his hand. He's tucking money. He's tucking no. money right in his right hand. Tell me how much money you he's have. He's tucking money. He's tucking my money. That's a, that's a that's a problem. Can y'all check him? Hey, hey, uh, Listen to me. What was your total cash? He's done. Let her know. Don't check me. 
Listen. Look at him moving. He's moving. Oh my God. Y'all not gonna check him? Listen. Look at him. Listen. 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 Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I've been cooperating with you guys the whole time. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to allow anybody to take your money. Look at him. He's moving. But look at me. Okay. Look at me. If, if someone takes your money, it, it will be a, a big problem. All right? No one's going to take your money. I can see his hand. I, 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 I can see exactly what, 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 what he's doing. No one's going to take your money. She's going to count your money. I there's more money. him touch my money. You there's more money in here. Me. You're saying that, that there's more money in here? But what I'm saying is Let that... Let me ask you a question. Ask my question. Are, are, are you saying that there's more more money in here? What I'm saying is he just touched my money and went through three different four compartments and I seen him put it in between his legs. I heard my rubber band. I've been nothing but okay. cooperative with you guys. All I wanted you guys to do is... Okay, watch. Well, I'm saying, but he already right. moved and did a lot of different stuff. Okay, come here. I'm but y'all already let him move, like, there's no way. Like, watch. That's crazy. I can't believe y'all just did me like this. How much cash do you have on each total? So I can count it out and we can verify if it needs medicine. That's what I'm asking you. We, we can you know, you right know what now. the total amount was? Man, I honestly don't. The money was for a bill. My wife gave it to me. The one that just, she tried to give me, I tried to give her the money. He said, don't give it to her. Okay. Because I went to Wendy's. I got a Wendy's okay. receipt, right? But do you know how much cash you had on it? So I can count it out, so we can verify the total. Do you know approximately how much you had on it? If I say a number and I get it wrong because he touched the window, then it's going to be all wrong. But I just don't understand why I heard my rubber band being popped. I it just is. grabbed it from the seat to give to her. That's not what you just told me either, boss. I did. That's what I did. And I handed her the envelope. I'm not going to lie, boss. Have, I, I, gave you, have I gave you any problems? No, sir. You have not. That's all I wanted to ask her. I just don't understand why y'all couldn't. Like, I'm not going. I sit on my face. I'm not going okay. nowhere. And I just want to. I'm asking you how, what your total was so we can count it out. You can watch me count I'm it out. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to. It's a, lot, it's a lot going on. I didn't okay. even know I had a warrant. I'm just trying okay. to. I'm just trying to, like. So if you. What's it called? I'm trying to, like, just, like, comply with you yeah, guys. I got but you. But that just doesn't make sense to the point where, like, I just watched him. Me and you both watched him move his hands. I watched him tear up. I watched him look at you and tell him, like, look at you, look at you and tell you, no, you're like, you're not about to. I, I just watched him do way too much when I haven't been nothing but nice and compliant to you guys. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to go along with you guys' protocols and everything. All I've done was ask questions so I know how, like, to make sure I'm safe and my family can find me and stuff. I and it's like, I and know. And that's why I was asking you what your total was so we can sit here and count it out. But and they we can verify that it's correct. You guys see me walk, walk over here? I did see the, that, sir, but at the end of the day, none of y'all, none of y'all, like, none of you guys' body cam is on, like, like, I know Mine for, is on right now. But I know for a fact what I seen and what I heard. And then when I asked him why was he, like, popping the rubber band on the money, he said I was just making sure something, but it's no need to make sure, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's my property, you feel what I'm saying? And I know for a fact the money was touched, but it's a million compartments. Yes, I on. did touch it when I grabbed it out of the seat. I understand, so I don't want to argue with you, Mr. Chapman. I just know what No, I sir. Know. Okay, so what we I typically do is count out everybody's you can money count it in again, front of but them, I'm not going so you can you. see that it's the accurate. Money was, the money was altered before. So when I turn it over to property, you can verify that the total we're counting out now is the total that you're going to get back. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you good with me doing that right now? I want to count in front of you so yes, you can see how much that you have. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice. eight, nine, ten. The suspect insists that Officer Chapman had taken his money. However, despite emptying his pockets, the suspect remains unconvinced. What were we saying? 190, right? So I wasn't saying that you altered my money. No, I, no I, didn't, I didn't say you said that. Yes, ma'am. Right. But I said I wanted to count it out from in front of you so you could see how much is in there because when we turn this over to the sheriff's office, 
It's then going to go to the marshals. It's going to go to the next sheriff's office. So this is us verifying that we're putting all your money in here. Can you write my name on there also? Uh, can y'all, like, 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 like I, don't, I don't know the protocol with that, but, like, can y'all check y'all, like, like his see? person? Because, like, if anything is on him, look, like, sir. it would be in big... No, I don't... I don't look, I'm, I'm going to show you right here. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me. All of you guys are probably having kids. Yeah. Look, so, look, this is all I want to explain to you guys. Right. Most of the time, when somebody knows they didn't, like, when somebody knows for a fact they didn't do anything, they're not finna just, you feel what I'm saying, like, let you search them. And I don't have kids, you feel what I'm saying? But I know how that goes because my mom did foster care. I didn't do anything like how me and you been talking the whole time. Yes, just sir. like how me and you was talking the whole time. If I didn't do anything, I have nothing that I'm worried about, you know what I'm saying? There would be no reason for him to show me his pockets and stuff. Like, I know for a fact. Well, I, I want you to feel comfortable. I would have yes. felt, yes, felt, felt comfortable if your colleagues would have searched you at the exact time where I knew where the money was. If I seen you kept going in between your legs, and then every time everybody put all of the, the attention on me, you kept moving. I don't know if it's in your door. I don't know where it's at. But just like, look, I don't even care to find the money, look, but how you, you know, how you know for a fact that I'm right. right. Come here, come here, come here. Do you mind if I move? Come, yeah, yeah, come, come, come here. I'm, 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 I'
for something to let her know, babe, I'm being pulled over in your car. In my eyes, I thought it was going to be for the T tag, the temporary tag thing, the sticker. But like, it was just, initially just for your speed. I promise you that. No, I apologize, sir. I apologize. I'm just trying to do what I got to do. But I know for a fact what I heard. I have 2020 vision. I'm not a criminal. I don't do things that I'm not supposed to. I heard him tampering with that rubber band. Okay. That rubber band was on that money because my girlfriend gave me the money this morning and told me I wasn't even supposed to be in her car. I just took it because I didn't want to be moving around all day. And my my girlfriend had a car and she was going to work. I was supposed to be picking her up off Central at her job at her little where she do cosmetics at. With that money, we were supposed to go to the bank. What's your full name? M O N C R E. Okay. Last okay, name. Do do we have all all your information? Yes, sir. But I want to know what y'all gonna do about Mr. Chat. Okay. You he was just caught at work. Mr. With evidence. Mr. I'm I'm gonna do my job. All right. So I want it wrote down. I'm not gonna lie. Not listen, to Mr. Morris. I'm listen, not gonna cut you off. Look, look, listen, there's nothing that I could give you right now to tell you what 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 I, what I want to do. But like, what I can tell you what I want to do is if 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 you're alleging that that he did something, I, I obviously. Did you recount the extra money? It was a thousand. No, like it's not hundred. Oh, it's nine hundred. It's just, it right it's uh it's it's, it's nine hundred. Okay. So, so like if uh, if uh, you're alleging that Officer Chapman did, you know, did Alleged, something wrong. So you guys don't listen. Fight. Listen, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you exactly what I'm gonna do. Do do not parse every word I'm telling you. I'm telling you exactly what I'm going to do. All right? Is that I I, I have to get on the phone. I have to call my supervisors to uh, you know, to write up the chain. All right? But you're, but you're, but you're, you're, you're still going, going to jail. Oh yeah, I understand. Okay. I wasn't trying but, to. But, but like, that's why I'm, I'm asking you if you gave them all of your information on how to get in contact with you. Did you do that? Sam, name. Only thing that yeah. was my first name and last name. Do, do a, do a, we have address and a, and a phone number? Uh, What's you your phone number? Uh, you can take my girlfriend's number. Say Okay, you you'll be hearing hear hear from us soon. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, all know, right, thank you. Do you have a piece of paper on you? Yeah. Um, or uh, just for like to put in my property. Uh, I would like um, for you to write down um, uh, Sergeant Moore's name. I would like for you to write down uh, uh, Mr. Lack's name. I would like for you to write down your name and um, Mr. Chapman's name. All right, and it's not, like, it's not like it's not like I just don't want to you? forget it. You know let me finish Yes, I have to get you in my car. My yes, information is also on the citation of urgency. Yes, I appreciate it, sir. I appreciate you guys for like analyzing the situation because, like, if it wasn't said like this or seen like this or foreseen like this, nobody would have believed me. You feel what I'm saying? I just wanted you guys to believe me, and I'm sorry if I seem irate or there's another dollar in your pocket. Or I'm sorry if I seem like I'm doing too much. I just wanted you guys to believe without me having to do anything like to show you guys, you know what I'm saying? I try to grab him or try to like reach in his car and grab the money while I heard it, you know what I'm saying? And I knew it was a lot going on. Oh yes, ma'am. I need to Well, I just know like y'all be like. Yeah, there'll be that again at the uh, at intake. Yes, ma'am. Catherine, his ID is on the dashboard up there. Okay. Um, do you mind putting it in, the, uh, in my evidence file? Can I get, like, y'all names wrote down? Yeah. Thank you. Um. Given what's on the line, officers had to interrogate the suspect to determine exactly what happened to his money. Make a long story short, uh, my property was took off of me. By, by, by who? By, uh... What's his name? Chapman. By uh, Mr. Chapman or whatever. My girlfriend pulled up to the scene of the crime to get the, uh, the, the money, but he told her which he had also told me the money was on my possession, so it had to stay with me, which wasn't a problem. From then on forth, I uh, remained in the back of Chapman's car, so my property was on the front seat the whole time. Mm -hmm. So as we pulled up to the, uh, well, we uh, remained on the scene for about 20 minutes, um, then we were cleared to leave the scene. Your uh, money, how was it packaged? It was all forward in uh, hundreds and fifties. Okay. 
And then, and, um... And, like, did they have anything on it? As far as oh, a rubber band. Okay. Do, uh, do you remember the color of the rubber band? Uh, I think it was, like, a whitish gray, like, not this color. The regular color of the band is, like, the white, off whitish right. gray color. So, like that, like that, uh, tan skin tones color? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, as we pulled up to the scene, after he had already told everybody, like, his property has to stay with him. And there wasn't no problem. Like, nobody was aggressive. Everybody was doing their job, their protocol, you feel what I'm saying? Make a long story short, we pulled up. Like, I just, like, was asking, like, each officer that I encountered, like, what was going on with me, like, what was happening, mm -hmm. like, so I could know, like, how to better my situation as mm -hmm. far as, like, getting out. So, long story short, when we pulled up, we were waiting for Officer Lack to get finished with his report so that they could start, like, mm -hmm. transferring me. As everybody was waiting, I guess officers were leaving out, and they were saying that they would volunteer to transport me uptown to help you guys, I mean, to, like, help each other out. Mm -hmm. Lack started bringing out the envelope for the uh, inventory, I mean, uh, for my stuff, uh, like my property. I heard a rubber band being tangled with. That's when I asked the question out loud. I said, why would you take a rubber band off the money? And I can't quite remember the answer he gave me, but he confirmed to me that he took the rubber band off the money. And, like, it's my property. I'm a man, so I'm going to watch my belongings mm -hmm. the whole time. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like I had stated, when Lack pulled me over, I was eating Wendy's. And that money was bill money. Like, it's on y'all cameras that when my girlfriend pulled up, she asked me for the bill money. Mm -hmm. So, he told her, like, keep the money in my possession, which was, you know what I'm saying, which was cool, which was in you guys, well, which was in his possession at this point. Mm -hmm. So, as I was being transferred into the car, I heard the rubber band pop. That's when I asked the question, like, oh, like, what you doing? Like, like, what were you doing with the money? He confirmed that he was doing something, but he just didn't say what, or I don't know if I missed it, but I know we was, like, so, it, it so was like, five so of us so right there. You don't, you don't recall what he said. I don't recall, part. but like okay. I'm saying, gotcha. it was five of us right there, so I know one of the cameras probably picked up on it, or his should have, okay. which I know his probably was off because he was stealing my money. But he kept, like, trying to, make it seem as if my eyes were playing tricks on me. And I heard the rubber band pop. I kept seeing him move his legs. And as soon as I said it and put it out there, he tried to put the money in between his legs and hand her over the stack. When I seen the size of the stack, and Officer Casperon asked, asked me how much money was it, I didn't want to tell you guys the exact number because I wasn't sure what he had took from the stack. All I was sure of was that the way that I placed the rubber band on the money wasn't the same. After listening to the suspect's side of the story, it becomes clear that he isn't lying, and in a final attempt to clear his name, the sergeant decides to speak with Officer Chapman to hear his side of things. All right. Okay. So, like, this is what's going to happen, all right? We, we have people coming in. Obviously, they, they have to talk, talk to you, all right? So, um, I, I'm going to have to hold on to your weapon right quick, okay? Yep. Just take, just take the... Uh, whole holster office, one of them. QLS. I got it. Um, Sergeant Burke and you know, one of the ones that the detectives won't come and speak. Okay. So, right. so, just chill out, relax. Do, do you need anything? No, I'm, I'm, I just want to apologize to everyone I say, man, I, one of these things, dude, and I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, brother. Um, anything to drink or anything else? No. Mm. I just want to say I'm sorry. I got you, brother. Well, we're going to walk out of here and close the door, okay, until they get here, okay, buddy? All right. Uh, let me know if you need anything, all right? I'm, I'm good, Sarge. I, I appreciate it. Ultimately, this corrupt cop decided to throw away his entire career for a bit of extra cash. And in result, Officer Chapman was charged with one count of embezzlement.